So generally, the concern we have at higher altitude is, is the lower oxygen state, or what we call acute hypoxia. The air is generally thinner. There's, there's a lower concentration of oxygen. So that inherently puts it at an increased strain on the cardiovascular system. The most, the most common and the, the initial response of the heart to high altitude is an increase in heart rate, and that's to help maintain that cardiac output and maintain the oxygen delivery uh, to the tissues. In normal healthy individuals, that will generally slow down to kind of a normal uh, level within a few days or once the patient accl acclimates to the high altitude. But in patients with underlying heart disease, that may not come on quite as easily or may not come on at all, and those patients may not tolerate high altitude quite as well. Generally not. I mean, the, the reason we probably see more issues in the winter months at high altitudes, a lot of patients come out to go skiing in the winter time, and so they're not generally there in the summertime. So we do s tend to see more issues related to uh, colder weather in the colder months um, in, in the mountains, especially uh, related to heart disease and, and high altitude. Yeah, so, so the big issue is if you have any significant heart issues, and especially unstable heart issues, whether that's unstable angina, ongoing chest pain, decompensated heart failure, I'd always recommend the, the patient to speak to their primary care physician or their cardiologist before going to altitude. If you have stable heart disease, generally it's safe to travel to altitude, but you do need to take some precautions. And it's generally the same precautions that I'd recommend to anyone coming from sea level to altitude. Main, one, main, main things being hydrate uh, aggressively if you can. And, and, and take time to acclimate. Don't go from sea level to 10,000 feet immediately and expect to feel well. Um, most of those patients will, many patients will experience nausea, some high altitude sickness for the first several days. But if you can take some time to acclimate to it, that's generally an easier transition on the cardiovascular system, kind of taken in stages.